Hi guys, Jake and MJ, back again for more live reactions to It's a Mystery This Time. This week we have, yet again, our fortnightly feature. Um, there was a poll this week. We wanted to have it be our first ever, uh, our first ever instance of reacting to something that wasn't, uh, a Super Sentai series or a Power Ranger series. Yes. Um, so this is going to be our first non-Sentai related toku, and it came out to a draw in the polls. Apparently. I ran a Twitter poll. I don't even know what we're watching. Um, there, there were, uh, there were two that came out neck and neck. <laughs> and those two were? Um, well, the two that came out neck and neck were, uh, actually I'm going to, I'm going to preface this by saying how I came to my choice. I came to my choice based off of what I thought would be most appropriate for our first non-Sentai toku. Okay. Um, and I actually ended up going with something that was technically speaking neither choice. The, the two choices that it came down to were Tokusatsu Gagaga, episode one, and Chojinki Metalder, the movie. And what I've decided, on my own, is that we will instead be doing Chojinki Metalder, episode one, and, in a double feature, the first episode of the series it was adapted into, VR Troopers. We will be watching the first episode of Chujinki Metalder and the first episode of VR Troopers to see... Why did you do this with your vest? Ryan Steele. He always wears vests. Oh. Oh, I realized I left the window open. I'm just going to close the window. There we go. My bad. So, I hope that is a pleasant surprise for all our viewers. I know that... We, uh, that we missed out on doing our fortnightly feature last week, um, because I was involved in the, uh, in the Midsummer Night's, uh, charity stream. Yes. Uh, with... Midsummer Night's stream? Yes, that was with, uh, Kyle Calgren's new, um, theater troupe, Worlds Elsewhere, uh, which, I, which I'm hoping I'll, I'll get to, uh, be involved with more in the future. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was great to finally get to collaborate with him. After uh, all this time, just uh, admiring Rocking his work. Him. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, I, I'm looking forward to. Uh, so I figured this would be a good way to to balance things out. We we took a week off, so we're doing a double feature this week, and it's a double feature of the first non Sentai Toku to be really brought to the United States and adapted, and we get to see how that adaptation was done. So I think I thought that would be fun. Do did they actually adapt the first episode into the first episode? I double checked. Yes. Okay. Um, obviously, you know, it's all cut and paste. They they they're very choppy in how they do things. Um, and oh, uh, just in case anyone's wondering, yes, I did get a haircut. No, I did not go to the hairdresser for it. Yeah. I did it myself. With a little bit of help from. Yes. Ooh, actually, I realized that I thought that I put the window on the right screen, but... Apparently not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have not broken the quarantine -iness. I have simply uh, hijacked my husband's beard trimmer and... There it goes. Trimmed my own undercut. I was, I was keeping it on a different source so as not to, uh, to spoil Marissa on the surprise. The share this says, technically Masked Rider was first. Um, no, actually. Uh, VR Troopers came out in 1994. Master Rider was 1995. Uh-huh. Um, to, to provide a little bit of context, um, we, uh, we, yes, my ears are VR Troopers was initially conceived of as, um, as a series that was going to be called Cybertron. But ironically, the uh, the owners of the Transformers were not a fan of that, so Saban had to change change things up. Uh, and it was originally going to star 
uh, Jason David Frank after the character of Tommy had departed the series. Yeah, he didn't depart. He just but, stuck around forever and ever. But then they decided to, to keep him on Power Rangers, have him be not just the Green Ranger, but the new White Ranger, and uh, they decided to have Brad Hawkins, who I believe was under consideration to be the White Ranger, uh, take on the lead role for their new series, which was later uh, renamed VR Troopers. When so, did Big Bad Beetleborgs come out? Big Bad Beetleborgs was um, 1997, I want to say. Um, because, yeah, it, it coincided with... That's an interesting looking robot, dude. Um, it's one of those things where I forget if it, I think it may have gone from 96 to 97. I forget exactly if it was a fall premiere or, or a winter premiere. Um, but I know that Tur that, uh, it overlapped with Power Rangers Turbo. And then, oh, no, no, it, no, it was not, it was, I'm sorry, 96 and 97 because there was Big Bad Beetleborgs and then Big, uh, Beetleborgs Metallics. So it went, we had VR Troopers in 94 and 95, we had Masked Rider in 95, we had Big Bad Beetleboards in 96 and 97, and we had Mystic Knights of Kiernanog in 98. Um, being Mystic Knights of Kiernanog. Mystic Knights of Kiernanog, yes. It was very Irish. Very Irish. Um, yes. So let's see here. Just I'm going to pop out the chat on my end so I can see you guys clearly over here as well. It's good to see the gang getting back together. And, um, hopefully everyone is having a good, solid stream here with, uh, Yeah, with let the us internet. know if anything changes about the stream, because we're getting some strange errors on our end, but so far, everybody mm. seems to be chatting along just well. Yeah. Um, so... Now, um, I do also mm. want to get in the habit of reiterating, um, mm. we, we mentioned three statements that I think should be non-controversial. Yes! And those three statements are, just to remind you, Black Lives Matter, Fascism is bad, and, and superheroes, superheroes are, are cool. Fun. fun. That's it. Fun. Thank fun. you for reminding me. Superheroes are fun. I was thinking of another set of three that we will... There will be another set of three statements at the end of the stream, so stick around for that. Oh, my. Okay. Um, but yeah, Doesn't let's not forget these channel. are things that should, should be uncontroversial, and therefore, we should have no problem saying it. Uh, YouTube channel putting HD episodes of Misty Nights online right now. Oh, that's cool. Um, so, let's make sure the volume level's looking good. And <laughs> that is not spandex! That is very much not spandex. <laughs> that is not spandex. Um, Chojinki Metalder was, to my understanding, very heavily inspired by uh, the classic um, manga anime... Um, actually, I think, I think it was a manga first, and then a to and then live-action toku, and then later an anime, uh, Kikaider, who was also a half-red, half-blue android character. Interesting. Um, that is about the extent of what I know about Metalder. I know that it is very similar to Kikaider as far as aesthetics, and I know that it was turned into VR Troopers, which VR I have not VR. seen According in... To the chat. I have, actually I have not it. actually watched VR Troopers in over 20 years. I have not actually watched it ever. I remember watching it, uh, watching it in the morning with breakfast. Uh, with, with, with all that, that crazy goodness. So, uh, I think it is time to kick off episode one of Chojinki Metalder. And actually, I don't even know the name of the, of the episode. I just know it's the first episode. Let's oh. kick it off. Okay. And, whoop, not me. Nope, got Clicking the wrong spot. Right. There it goes. Play. And Jinky Metal, episode one. Ooh. Here we go. Very robotic. Superman machine. Metal. Huh. Is your youth shining? This is also our first look at the Showa era here, which is, is this is from, I believe, 1987? This is 
this is uh that explains the shoulder pads. This is older than our siblings. Not older than us, but older than our younger siblings. Yes. Nice. Aren't you just giving to the small happiness? There we go. So we got oh hey Grimlord! He's a he's a big guy there. Alright, so it looks very much like the Grimlord scenes were from the toddler. That's exciting to know. Ryan Steele's got his got his motor. Me no Kokoro. That is the human heart. That is the human heart. Oh, that's, if you are learning for your love, don't fear. Oh, I think that's an very, exposure to Very frequently, can I actually match the subtitles to the actual yeah. words? But Ningan is people and Kokoro is heart. So Ningan no Kokoro would be the heart of people. Um, no, I don't. I think I, I, I ever really saw that. I'm really proud of myself when I managed to do that. All right. But yeah, this this is back to the good old 80s. Anyone here old enough to remember the really early VHS preview of VAR Troopers with CGI Albert Einstein? I do not recall that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm old enough, but I do not recall it. Uh, we don't care for Fortnite either. Yeah. Some people thought Fortnitely meant it had to do with Fortnite. No. No, it hence, means every two weeks. Yeah. Hence, hence why it's actually spelled correctly. Fortnite, the video game, spelled incorrectly. is N-I-T-E, as opposed to an actual Fortnite of two weeks is F-O-R-T-N-I-G-H-T. Oh. oh, wow. He visits, he visits his son? It's only a pretense. Oh. I wonder what his mission is. Yeah, no, not, 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 not doing the cougar right now. Sorry, Sir Paladin. <laughs> yeah, what? Cougar's also like. Cougar's the guy with the red eyes, right? His eyes are red. Yeah. He's he's one of the guys with the big red eyes. Many master riders. That Pocky's always posting pictures of. Yes. On Twitter. Yes. Oh, he's finally discovered who is responsible. So we have the old professor. At the, uh, at the cemetery, I suppose he's looking to, to honor the, his son. That's a uh, awkwardly Christian uh, cemetery. Hmm. Yeah, they have the uh, crosses. Crosses everywhere. Hurry! 100 demons of the underworld. That's not the word it says on screen, but Jake won't say the word it says on screen on screen. Yep. Hey, Tokyo Tower. I got away with it once. Hey, I've seen that tower. Do we like this the Godzilla films? I haven't actually seen the Godzilla films. It's been a long time. I really it's want funny. to see the Godzilla films that have Millie Bobby Brown in them, though. That's only one so far. I believe it's the upcoming. New York Secretary Kane. Well, I guess this is... I guess she hasn't gotten her doctorate yet. Secretary oh. oh, the stock market. Buy it all? Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be so interesting juxtaposing this against the first episode of VR Troopers because I'm seeing these all these little parallels here. It's great. Oh yeah, just send a nuclear submarine this to the Persian company, Gulf. This company has a nuclear submarine. Of course, some Japanese company is gonna have a nuclear submarine. It's the '80s. Didn't everyone have a nuclear submarine? Take on the darkness of the night. The darkness of the night's in quotes, so that could be the oh, 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 like, oh. like the name of a ship, maybe. Oh, oh, we, 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 we got a little transformation going on here. Just doing a slow fade on his old. different makeup. Yep. Is, oh, is he turning into the giant dude? Oh, oh, a little pulsy there. Oh, that's cool. This is, this is a very slow transformation, but it's, uh... That's some nifty makeup there. Yeah, he is turning into the giant dude. Yeah, I I forgot that. The, and the he's, he's got the little step, animatronics. The last it. step to the old dude did not go nearly as smoothly. Nearly as smoothly as all the steps they're leading. Because all of a sudden he's got the helmet. But that's still a pretty expressive um, yeah, uh, animatronic face that he's got there. Is that animatronic? Well, not. Prosthetic. Uh, it looks like it's got some some servos in there. Ah, uh, look at all the all the crazy. Well, these are the one Robo dudes, guys. Probably. God Eros. Okay, that guy. Oh, 
Oh, he's a medium fighter, fighter Mookie Mookie Mad. Medium fighter, Fu Fu Chu. Those guys I do not remember. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there's a monster army. Monster yeah. troop army. You got the victorious Nuke Summary sense. in Persian Gulf has been going real well. Yep. They just got a bunch of chanting. Cool chin. Oh, I recognize that guy. That's the buffering, Chris. Uh, the buffering isn't usually... Like, usually it would not have buffering. It would just have, like, really bad artifacts. Plus, we're actually not getting arrows at the moment. Yeah. Um, we appear to have a, a healthy screen. Yeah, it's saying excellent connection at the moment. So, I don't know what the problem is there. Matilda aired in Brazil, apparently. Just directly uh, subtitled? No. 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 He seems to, well, he seems to have transformed into himself. Oh, he's a god. Good for you. He's apparently god of the universe. Uh, yeah, I feel like those got it. Those, those have got to be servos in the face, just just by going like it's not it's not it's not moving the right way for natural movement. But the eyebrows are still moving. Around. Yeah, huh. So he's using his evil demon army. Uh, for capitalism. Fair enough. This increase will influence the world stock market. He is manipulating the stock. We are seeing the stock market right now. That is not something uh, I was expecting. And then, and then, starting up wars. He is. He is manipulating the military industrial complex. Okay. And now he wants to be a weapons dealer. Wow. After the destruction of the bloodbath, oh, famine. Oh, wow. However, Strong will survive. Wow. Okay. He is also very... Genesis as well. He's a very, very much on the uh, Darwinism there. Social Darwinism. We don't need the tears of the weak. Okay. Uh, we're glad we're here for you, Elliot. Oh. We'll give birth to the invincible shielded army. Okay, so robotic warriors army. Okay. So wow, that's this, we we definitely have a little bit more explicit. Uh, explicitly dark motivation here outside the general like trying to take over the world kind of thing this is so real it's scary so I know like that's oh oh he he apparently has identified the professor as a threat he brings misfortune to the empire okay So, so, oh, here comes, here comes, uh, That's flying plane me. man. I love this. Look out! The compositing on the, on the jet, uh, the jet beam monster is, is fantastic. It's not bad for the 1980s. It's, it's mostly just the, the clearly different lighting and perspective as, it's, as it keeps swooping over. <laughs> Whoosh! Uh, yeah. Oh, I think that might be it for a chauffeur, man. That is one-hand chauffeur. Wow, they, they are going dark. Yeah. <laughs> He needs to finish his mission and awaken the robot. This has got to be our blue and red friend. Yeah. 
Yeah. I guess the robots are not. That's being a Toku villain. This guy's a Bond villain. Yeah. And uh, a little blue. Look at the fast something. Just a little bit. That's a Bond villain. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get out of practice. A little bit. A little bit. Think about Goldfinger. I will admit, I've seen almost no Bond movies. I know it's weird. I've seen like one. Okay. So my abuelito doesn't speak English hardly at all, yeah. right? But one thing that he was obsessed with was James Bond movies. So like when we'd be over at his place, he had Telemundo and James Bond on VHS. So we watched a lot of James Bond. Yeah. I literally, I've, I I've only have Spanish seen, I've actually only seen one. Um, it, it Which was, one? Uh, the one with Holly Berry, actually. Because that was the one that came out, like, back when I was in high school, and so, like, my girlfriend at the time and I went to go see it. Oh, uh, Die Another Day. Okay. Yeah. I was about to ask him, was Goldeneye? No, that was, that was a few years before that. Was, uh... That was the big N64 game. Yes, it was. And... I used to play that with my brother and his friends. This guy's nice, uh... I didn't have any friends that wanted to play N64, and the cool, base cool part of Goldeneye was playing the multiplayer part. Yeah. Except nobody can be odd job because... Uh, he's, got, just... he's got all the all the lights and buttons. There we go. And uh, and a guy. The guy the guy just kind of laying there. He's taking a nap. The short guy. It's just, it's just cheating the short guy. Everything's just how he left it. Including Sleepy Guy. Ooh, I'm going to. The robot of the sun. That would be my assumption. Oh, charging up with the red and the blueness. That's cool. Yeah, it looks just like a sun. And the VR Troopers is still on Netflix. That's how we'll be watching it next. <laughs> Secret weapon. Heart rate of 58. Okay, 70. We're getting there. He's waking up. Oh, his hand's moving. <laughs> that is how a robot wakes up. Sarugi Ryusei. That jacket really reminds me of, like, everyone in Akira. Yeah. Where am I? Oh, he's a tall dude. Or else he's up on a platform. So we're here to say. Okay, so he is actually straight up an android. He's a chojinki. Which is apparently a super, a super human robot. It's a superhuman robot. Matalda. He's made of metal. Matalda. Oh, yes. Wee! <laughs> the guy who deserves Matalda deserves all the awards for being so convincing as a robot disguised as a human. There we go. Oh! Oh yeah! Kyle Neros! De definitely not the. Not, not going back to any sort of. Uh, you know, memories of that in, in, the, in the slightest. It's still good. I mean, it was never particularly good to begin with. I'm, I'm, yeah, you, you do raise a good point, Justin. There's got to be... I'm wondering at which point the talking dog is going to show up, because obviously that had to be the inspiration for this whole thing. He's like, okay. I'll roll with this. I'm a robot. This is important. Obstacles in life. Many. Yep, okay, getting that. Oh! Explosions! There are explosions oh, happening. Guys. I don't know. We'll see. He's never going to get to finish 
He needs to teach him how to. Um. How to be a human. But how is human? I'm trying to figure out yeah. why that got censored. Uh. <coughs> oh no. Is it because we didn't buy this Halloween candy. Yeah, it was just. It was given to us by friends who bought it and then decided it was good. Yeah, it's fine. Why did you just... Yeah, he's calling to you. Why didn't you follow him out here? Why did he go out here on his own to get surrounded by evil demon robots? I am a little unclear on if they are demons or robots. Or just guys who like to wear face paint. Well, the robot army are robots. And the monster army are monsters. He's dead. Yep, he's dead. Yeah. Why did you go out there <laughs> and leave your superhuman robot behind? Like, I'm sorry. Like, a few things you should not leave the house without. One, obviously your face mask. Two, uh, your superhuman robots. Like, oh, this boy saw the murder that we just that we just did. Have you tried turning your Metalder off and back on again? They're just like they're an evil no. demon no. army. Look, look, no, no. There's a robot army. There's a monster army. There's an armored army. Okay, okay. and all three of these are different kinds of demons because there's a hundred demons. Yeah, there seems to be a lot. So some of them are robot demons, and some of them are monster demons, and some of them are armored demons. Oh, his fighting instinct has awakened. No! So now he can throw and be thrown. That, that really only worked for like the first guy who he threw over, and then the others just picked him up and threw him. He looks like the swallowed frog. Hikaru! Hikaru! When he gets overloaded with feelings and all his concentrated energy reaches its limit, he changes into superhuman robot Metalder. When he feels like I feel. A frog. I feel like all of us over the course of these last few few months should have all respectively turned into our own superhuman robots by our overloading of feelings. Metal Dada. Metal Dada. It's very dramatic. I love how this one guy with with the bike on the hill. I swear he's just taken like a startled step forward like three he's times. Pretty right? good for the sumo wrestlers. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently he can shoot things out of his hat. And uh, samurai dude is not impressed. <laughs> Yeah, he was, like, he wasn't even born yesterday. He was literally, like, born... Born ten minutes ago. Yeah. Nice. He can karate chop trees. Now try karate chopping a... And... and do an extreme kick. flying kick sideways. Very sideways. Super extreme sideways flying kick. Say hi to Oliver and goodbye to Oliver since he's going out the other side of the screen. Oh, his brain's blinking. He's thinking extra hard with powers. The gears are turning and the pistons the are doing things. Engine pistons. Is he running a petroleum? That's why he needs to combat the evil stock market manipulators. The cat looks like a Cheeto. He does kind of look like a Cheeto. The leader of the shielded army, victorious saint. Ooh, yeah. Oh, showdown time. Ready for the showdown? Quick drop. No, no, uh, Coogan seems to have a sword. He's getting ready to draw, which... Uh, and meanwhile, he's... 
planning to karate chop him, I think. Or side side chop, karate kick him to, to do. Oh. He's running forth for... Okay, so he does a slice. Okay, so they're doing that Japanese thing where they both, like, hit each other, and then they stop, and then we find out which one yeah. of them is actually... Oof. Okay, that did not go well for Medalder right so there. His arm got really injured. Yeah. And he's just spinning right off a cliff. Wow. That did not go well. No, that went very poorly. Okay. The end question mark? So, okay, so Kulin's back with Neros, reporting in on... Too late. Yeah. Oh, but Metalder has survived. That's why it's too late. He's, got, he's definitely got a slice there in his shoulder pad, so he did not do that well. Staggers off into the sunset to figure out how to exist, because he did not get, like, any of his... He didn't. He didn't get. He didn't get the the how to human for Dennis user. Yeah. Oh wind. Oh sky. Oh sun. I'm new to all three of you. You have a heart. Tell me. Why did I come to this world? To live as the super robot Metalder. What that means. Oh, lightning. Hello. To be continued. Oh. Oh, here we go. We got a little pit. He's got a little, uh, a little car, apparently. That's, uh, spiffy. It looks like... Oh, oh, it's but, it, but it's a flying car. There we go. So that's going to be fun for fighting the flying, the flying jet dude. What's funny is that it looks like a I've forgotten about the CRX. flying car. How did I forget about the flying car? Is that also in... Yeah. Um, I love that super sidekick. Oh, they started a swear jar to me yet. Did I swear? Uh, you haven't had me in a while. Yeah, I mean, we still have the jar around. I just haven't... Can you put this somewhere in history? Okay, and apparently the lab's gonna have a full repair. We probably should donate what's in the square charge since we're never gonna use it. We need to get it. Time limit. The time limit is near. Because we're about to go to a commercial break. I'm, I'm guessing that his, so he's, I guess his he's red got, and blue form has a time limit, I'm I guessing. suppose so. There's still a lot of pieces that might He goes back to his lab and gets repaired. So next time, he meets... And then he's going to meet the girl in the red hair attack. Random robots. Robodog Springer. Saved by technology of silver products. Pushy. Super robot. Ta-da. This guy's really amazing. Well, thanks for letting us know. All right, so oh, that uh, was... If you haven't been watching for a while, then yeah. Um, you know, I, I got tired of paying the swear jar, so... It's it, Yeah, it's been, it's been... You've gotten better and better over I, the over years. Over the years, and it got down to, like, maybe once every couple of episodes, and then it's been a while. It's yeah. not that I don't still swear, it's just... Gasp. Don't swear on the videos anymore. I've yep. kind of trained myself out of it. Yep. You, you reacted well to the training on that front. All right. So that was the first episode of uh, of Metalder. Um, I feel like most of the commentary we were kind of conveying throughout. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty. What? Pretty. Uh, talk. Sort of simple and straightforward setup, even if it was a little. Um, Contrived. Very contrived. And I feel like it, it it the the explanation was about as clear as as there Gose's uh, 
there's a great explanation for that. And then the bad guys attack. Um, and I yeah. told you, the old guy's going to die, and we're never going to get the rest of the information. Like, I wasn't sure, because I didn't know if there was a mentor figure in this show or not, and if the guy was going to stay that way. Um, it did seem like it was going setting things up for him to, to get killed. I just didn't think he would make it quite that easy. He's just like, I'm going to go into my secret base, wake up my robo-son, then leave and die. And I don't know why he felt the need to do the leaving and dying part. I felt like that was, like, that was unnecessary. Yeah, was Um, also considering, um, how they had attacked the mountain, I'm wondering if they knew that the base was in there or not, or if they were I just feel following like they the did. professor dude. I feel like they may have known the base was in the mountain, and that's why he went out. He wanted to try and, like... Dissuade them or something or something. I'm not sure. Lead them away from his creation. That that was sort of the the main thing that made me go like, what? Why are you doing this? Um, I'm no longer. Interested. We also have very little explanation of how uh, God Neros is the way he is. He's he's got his corporate side and he's got his surrounded by weird robo yeah, where demon army is side. This? Robo demon thing happening? Is that happening someplace on Earth, or does he have like a spaceship? Or not very well conveyed in those fronts. No, or not. or if he if he went to the underworld, like and I that was how he transformed. Place. I'm not sure. Um, but so so, Han, are you ready to to take a shot at seeing how they turned this this wacky? show into a wacky show for Americans? I would, I would love to see how they turn this into a wacky right. show for Americans. I will be, I, I will send this. Do, do you want some eyeballs? Because I've actually lost my taste for them after about four. Uh, maybe later. Um, I gotta bring it up over here and cast it you to the TV. You know what I haven't TV. lost my taste for, though? <clears throat> Green Machine! Green Machine. Yo. It's the green machine. Gonna walk. Rock the town without being seen. Have you ever seen a turtle get down? I don't know what you're talking about. I was talking about it's, the juice. It's, it's the ninja. Ninja rap. Ninja, ninja rap. I'm gonna guess it has to do with the ninja ninja turtles, since you said yeah. something about have you ever seen a turtle get down. I'm just covered in cat. Alright, so, we got to see our pilot episode of Chojinki uh, Metalder, which was it was it was fun, it was simple. Um, it was it was cool seeing some really old school toku from the eighties. Next time we do this, remind me to bring a lint brush. Fair enough. Especially for um, wear black. And now we're gonna see how that got adapted for the nineties with episode Legends of one. Tomorrow. No, not Life Legends of Tomorrow, that's just an ad. But he's red and blue in a Marabot. No. No. Uh, we are going to be looking at episode one of VR Troopers, <laughs> The Battle Begins, part one. <laughs> you want some eyeballs. Sounds really bad out of context. Here we go. Loading up the Netflix and go. Countdown control. Countdown control. One. We are. 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 That explains why everyone says we are VR too much. We are VR Troopers. Virtual reality Troopers. Virtual reality Troopers. Virtual reality Troopers. So Matilda has friends. Three, two, one. Your dad spent so much time there. Do I ever be as good as you, Dad? 
Absolutely. Well, apparently you're already pretty good because you appear to be with... No, that's green. Never mind. They definitely do seem to be leaning into the whole relationship with the missing father, the absent father. I've ever been to finding out what happened here. This day would change my life forever. What this happened day to the choice? This day will change what his life. What happened to what choice? The the poll? We watched the thing you guys voted on. For well, the poll, yes and no. I I, mer I I I merged them conceptually. Directed by Worth Keeter. He did a lot. Of, there there are a lot of names on here that you oh, that uh, we'll see okay. So jump in. We watched the um, we watched Metalder. the the first episode of Chojinchi Metalder, and now we are watching the first episode of VR Troopers. Yeah. Now note. So apparently Metalder was one of the. Uh, there was a tie. Yeah. Uh, with Tokusu... It was either Cho, uh, Choginki Metalder, the movie, or Tokusatsu Gaga, episode one. I decided to instead go with Choginki Metalder, episode one, making it a double feature with the first episode of BR Troopers, where Ryan Steele is just killing it on the... Uh, on the karate Okay, so the there. first thing we watched wasn't actually the Metalder that got voted for. It was a different Metalder. Yeah, the, it was going to be the Metalder movie. movie. But we watched Metalder episode one. Yeah. Because the thing it was tied with was, was episode one of something else. Yes. Got it. Okay. And I figured that these would be a better dichotomy, considering the movie wasn't tra wasn't uh, translated to anything for VR Troopers, to my knowledge. But this, but this would make a good parallel. And yes, we do have multiple heroes here, and there is that very strong focus on martial arts, and apparently just like we had in Power Rangers. And the red robot chick was also Tommy's ski instructor. Yes. According um, to chat. Because uh, one of the big things here is that they did want it to be a team, uh, whereas Cybertron was just going to be an adaptation of a Talder. Here they actually decided to merge it with an additional... Toku series. Um, what was the other choice besides Metalder? Uh, Tokusatsu Gagaga -ga was was the was what it taught. Episode one. Episode, episode one. Ga -ga -ga. Okay, so the the other two robots didn't come from Metalder. That's correct. Okay. Um, so they got in here like the White Ranger got into MMPR. Yeah, they were um they were part of a Space Sheriff series. Um, Gavin? Not Gavin. Um, I think it was Sheriff. Huh? Now I'm blanking. What? When? Where? Why? Telephone cord continuity problems. She's a reporter, and the others are kung fu people. Demolishing a historic building downtown, and he's going to build another power plant. I want you out. Who builds a power plant downtown? I'm on my way. A guy who, who who likes to build power plants, I guess. We already, I feel like we've we've already got like more plot happening in these first five minutes. Then happened in the entire episode of Metallica that we just watched. Yeah. But I, I, I like I like uh, Tao's dojo. I I like the martial arts focus uh, of those early okay, so adaptations. Okay, and Caitlin used footage from Jiku Senshin's. Oh, it was Jiku Senshi's Spielbach. Sorry. Um, I was trying to remember the name of it. I know that space that space sent uh space sheriff. I'm sorry. Schreider this to you guys was is downtown. Two. Downtown is away from here. People don't know what the word downtown means. No, no. Downtown is the central area of a city. It's usually quite cramped. This is a beach. There's Kate. The the, the the buildings are just off off. I'm glad we're not the only one. Out of the frame. What's going on here? It's right over there. Look at all these. It's just out of frame. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, what's up? Oh, she's got the car. Yeah. Listen, Carl Victor is about to blow up that building over there. What? Like, what? He's gonna blow up a building? He's gonna blow up a building? He's gonna blow it up. What gives him the right to do this anyway? Is this... A guy like him doesn't need permission to wreck people's lives. Yes. Nuke the nukes? I love... I love that they're like... She, she's a reporter and they're like active protesters. Okay, so wait. They're active protesting up on the hill. Uh, so they're out of range of the explosion. Of the explosion. Okay. 
but he's not going to care. Also, he's laughing at his own iguana. Hey, if you had an iguana, wouldn't you be laughing all the time? He's also got... Oh, he's, he's got he's twice... He's holding that iguana improperly. He's got twice as many female secretaries, too. He's... He's clearly what? twice as powerful as the other corporate guys. There you go. Support his rear legs. He even, like, feels the need to command the actual, like, demolition himself. <laughs> I feel like this is... Yeah. This... Return to virtual reality and, uh... Wait for their instructions. Okay. Sure. Okay. 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 This reality will soon be mine. Brick by brick, the city will crumble. In the end, they'll all become mine. Also, that container is not big enough for that. Mind control. But he's also pretty evil, as we have already established. That is, at the very least, an adolescent, quite possibly an adult iguana. Dun dun. So we've established he's evil, likes to blow up buildings, build power plants, and is trying to conquer the city. An enclosure big enough this for an iguana nice. of that age and size can fit a human size. All these new students started. I know, yeah. because I've cleaned them. <laughs> this, this was also interesting in that the VR troopers were like actual young adults as opposed to high schoolers. Come on, Jeff. Good job. Yeah. Like... Jed is the only dog Ryan and JB actually oh. help Tao run his dojo. The dog that's their, that's their job. Please don't do this well, we oh. became a Power Rangers monster of the week with the ability to fire laser beams from his eyes. I think that would be something you would not want to encounter in your life. Your computer is shaking. Um, IT, IT, what do you do when your computer starts shaking? First, you turn it off. Virtual reality. What? What's going on? I've gone to great lengths to contact the young man named Ryan Steele. I'm Ryan Steele. Who are you? Professor Horatio Hart. Hey, Horatio. Ryan, it is urgent that you come to my laboratory immediately. I have a message from your father. My father. Dun dun. But that's impossible. My father has been missing for ten years. Right. Everyone's father has Ryan been missing has for ten daddy. years, Ryan. We know. We know. You guys are always making daddy issues jokes about VR troopers, and now I know why. Happened, yep. Mr. Sifter. Professor Hart has contacted Ryan Steele. Dun dun. This is most unfortunate news. Leave me at once. Human Zordon. Dustin says he doesn't think there's Ben. Uh, Power Rangers, Monster. With, with implosion powers? No, with uh, eyeball lasers. No, eyeball lasers that implode things. Oh. oh, his evil powers are empowering, and see, we're seeing the same thing, but much faster. They kind of sped up that whole thing. And gave him a teleport. Yep. I do like the added, those added little effects. I think that was a little bit more effective. And it's MJ! Come on, it's been months, guys. Hail Grimlord! So, so we're working through this much quicker. It's basically the same scene, just not nearly as stretched out. The pacing is much, much faster. Here. And instead of the old dude, we've got a report from, uh... Yeah. Yeah, they composited it right over that. Yeah. Nice. Hail Grimlord. Hail Grimlord. As opposed to Hail Nero. major scientific breakthrough my dad disappeared. I wonder what he wants. Guess we're gonna find out soon enough. Get your seatbelt on! Oh, we've got the helicopter dude instead of jet dude. Oh, there's jet dude. We've got twice the action going on. But this is not the same footage at all because, um... It's a different car. Is it? Oh, well, right, it's the red car. It's a red car as opposed to... Right, and I was going to say, it's not snowing. Yeah. 
So it looks like this is this is a scene from a different episode that they're using right here. But you can see that they really did a good job of matching that car. Like, the differences are not differences that you're really going to notice from a distance. Oh, 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 they've gone off road. Yep. Get out of here, you guys. We'll be safer in the woods. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Who's ever safer in the woods? Well, I guess they figure they'll have cover in there. You gotta save Jeb. Don't let them. Don't let them get the dog. It's bad green screen. That is that is a really poorly green screen bridge. Let go of the dog. Well, it didn't look now. like they were really in a we good position. Watch the episode of Ranger that Lost and Found Translation was based on. Oh, that's not bad. That could be fun. I have seen that. I haven't. Why were they running for the bridge anyway? I don't know. We found it. I guess they thought the bridge would get find? them safe. Oh, so well, they eventually got where they were trying to get. Apparently. I wonder where the professor is. What is this? Thing? It would it be the gates of virtual reality, presumably. Yeah. Yeah. Gateway to what? Virtual reality. Yeah. Because we are the portal. Yeah. Well, here goes. Come on, Jeff. Let's check Jeff's it out. Jeff's Brazilian voice actor was the same one who did Scooby-Doo. Cool. I assume it's Brazilian Scooby-Doo. Apparently we have a problem with the word straight, I think. Well, I, I think it was just... Misinterpreting context. So. No, I mean the second time. Now this is also a really nice match here. He said that he straight up laughed when I did the thing with the eyeballs, and that got held back too. Yeah, interesting. To my they did. A, they did a pretty good job on matching to the. Uh, it does look like the place where. Where Metallica was working. Yes, it does. First, look behind you for three VR visors. Please put them on, and my reason for calling you will become. Hey, that's that necklace Seamus wears. I don't see yes, it is. That's this is the reason Seamus always wears vests. Amazing. I hadn't noticed. Yep. I have noticed he always wears tie-dye. Yeah. Oh, we're riding the Oculus Rift. You're looking through the reality mirror, the boundary that separates our world from the other virtual world. I love, I love how '90s treated cyberspace as literally a parallel dimension. Ever played Chrome Squad? Uh, I have not. I play. Really I don't really play video games that often, right. unfortunately. Whatever you are, are you alive? It's a virtual reality playback, like a three D video. You must listen yeah. to the professor very, very carefully. Dire mm -hmm. circumstances must have arisen for him to have brought you here, and I can only imagine that it involves Grimlord. Grimlord, a sinister creature from a virtual dimension, who for years has been. Developing a plan to break through the reality barrier and unleash his army of mutant robots. Mutant robots. Professor and I need you and your most trusted friends to become VR troopers. This is already uh, working better with the, with the exposition in many ways. No one in 90s had any idea what virtual reality meant. No, they really did not. Operate freely in both realities. It's got some shades of serial experiments lane where the wired was actually a whole place that should go yeah. to. Oh, and then they had the battle grid. Like, you were defeated there. The could spell disaster. Ooh. You'll need every bit of your VR superpowers to defeat Grimoire nice. Warriors. So, As obviously these the two from this other thing were to the the thing at least once you for the match the last No, that, that was them actually. They did have some... Okay. Or, suits? They had, the, they had the suits, but they couldn't really use them very well. Okay. They were not in good shape. Why is it always robots? No. Emotions! Well, he is super angsty. I have the human angst. So does Metalder. That's what turns him into Metalder. Yeah. He's 
having too much angst. Yeah. But yeah, you can definitely see in many regards how Metalder inspired elements of this series. Davy's just like Wait, not even waiting until the, the end. Why did they create those big suits for training montages so they could have the three side by side fighting? Yep. Yeah, those those extra little grid suits that we saw had just repainted Evan VR helmets. Spray paint Tyrannosaurus helmets, according to the chat. Well, yeah. I love how they just. He's just like, no, no, we've had enough chanting. We gotta keep this thing moving. Gotta keep up the pace. Let's move through. Oh my. Mo that was one of the things that was always kind of cool about Grimlord because they were. They were Neither did Metalder. Get out there! Trooper Transform. Like, Grimlord was always attacking on multiple fronts because they needed to have reasons to use the multiple different uh, source uh, source footage. Nice. But yeah, Spielvon had just two heroes um, as opposed to uh, as opposed to Sentai, which usually has more, obviously. Show me what you got, you mechanical and monkey. most other series tend tend to have either uh, tend to have more of a singular. Hero. Yeah, now we're just getting all so uh, footage from all sorts of. Episodes. Yeah, none of this is from we just watched. Those different film grades. I, sp like, I forget what I mean, year Spielbond. Each other, even. Spielbond yeah. has a different film grain than Metalder, which both have a different film grain than the Troopers. Than the American footage. And can somebody check for me real quick? What year did Spielbond came up, come out? Technological based transformation years, jewelry transform. Yeah, yeah. Metalder is newer than Spielbond? Then why does the Metalder footage look so grainy? I'm not sure. Was Spielbahn 82? What, was, what year was Spielbahn? Because I will admit the Spielbahn footage is, is really nice Rangers and clean. Okay, no, Spielbahn was 86. Okay, so they were just they were they were right back and back, back to back. So why does the why does the Metalder stuff look so grainy by comparison? It must have just degraded worse. Yeah, they were only a year apart, but, uh, and Metalder was newer. And look, that scene. Oh, yep. And over the, uh... Oh, no! Uh... Professor, where's Ryan? Yeah, we didn't make it. You're on your own, troopers. Ryan died. Oh, Scheider was 84. There is so much happening in this episode. Whoa, is she wearing bicycle shorts? I think so. I, I can't walk here. I like that they created this whole separate little model for his for his face. Yeah, they must have had bad tape for because it came out way greater. Yeah, because it was all up oh, to be continued. Be continued.
reality provides three out, but you bring me one. Ah, the ah, the And the I'm going to, to stop. The dog place. I'm going to stop before it auto plays episode two. <laughs> so, it looked like the main the main things that ended up getting used were the Grimlord footage, and then that's that little bit of fight scene. I mean, some of the fight um, scene was clearly from, it was still clearly from the Calder, but it was not from that first episode of the Calder. Yeah. Um, but we did get that one, that one little bit of the fight scene from that first episode. Yeah, that final hit, and then him falling over the cliff. They got, they were very creative with their use of source footage back in the early 90s when they were really pioneering this style. Um, like, when you, when you look back at, like, the first episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, that's drawing, uh, that's drawing footage from, like, at least five different episodes. I mean, didn't you do that when you did, um... And that's what I did with Grid Defense. Yeah. Um, because they, they were really trying to piece together their own story out of all of it. Um, so that was your first time seeing VR Troopers. It was. What did you think? Because I, I've seen it. It's been years, but... Um, the 80s idea of technology was even wackier than Serial Experiments Lane, man. Keep in mind, VR Troopers was 90s. That's even worse. That was 1994 that VR Troopers came out. Um, like, do you, they don't know what virtual reality is. Um, it's just a whole separate reality. Apparently in order to show that the computer is active, it has to rock. Yep. That's... A little freaky. That was very freaky. Um. Grid Man, Scream, and Samurai Cyber Squad, that would be another fun, fun thing to, to compare. Samurai Cyber Squad? Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Oh my. All like, with that's S's. like Superhuman Metalder? Uh, that was, uh, no, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad was one of the only, uh, possibly the only, um, Adaptation of Jap of a Japanese show done by a company other than Saban. Oh. It was that was by Deep. Okay, that makes some sense because they did um they did anime. They did yeah. Sailor Moon. So they just they took uh Gridman, which was sort of an Ultraman knockoff, and adapted it into Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Um which was um which Believe it or not, they had Tim Curry as the villain, Helocon, which was amazing. That does sound amazing. Um, and Matthew Lawrence uh, was was the um, was the lead. That was sort of his break. The Lawrence brothers were popular in the '90s. Matthew Lawrence went on to be in Boy Meets World for a few seasons afterwards. Um, it was like his his older brother Joey Lawrence was on Blossom. He was the guy who always went whoa. That was his big thing. I wasn't allowed to watch Blossom. But I, I was familiar. I just Whoa. didn't. But I did watch Boy Meets World. Yeah. So you might remember him from the later seasons of Boy Meets World. He was uh, Sean's half-brother. Okay. Uh, from the later seasons. Right, because like, he showed up out of nowhere because like, he never knew him, and then suddenly he, he, he met him because Sean's home life was a mess. But I am kind of amused that both versions, both Metalder Attacking and... Attacking Teenage Alien Fighters from Beverly Hills. Oh, the, yeah, that was Deke, too, wasn't it? That was their other attempt to rip off MMPR, but they didn't have a source footage for that one. That was completely original. And they went with Tattooed Teenage Alien Fighters? From Beverly Hills. I mean, the Beverly Hills part, that seems par for the course. Yeah. But... Tattooed Teenage Aliens uh, does seem like an awful lot of work for the makeup department. Not nearly as much as you would think. The tattoos were like just little things on their wrists. Well, that was what I, they I used to transform. Like, you know, full sleeves. No, no, no. Just like, it was just like a little thing that would be like on their, on their wrist that they used to transform. And then they would have, uh, and then they, tran and then they're, they're, you, you need to see for yourself what their transformed forms looked like. I will not describe it. Um, but back to this. I did find it interesting how, like, um, from the, in, in both cases, 
um, this was intensely anti-corporate as far as as far as how they set up their premise. Like their villains were straight up I in mean, both cases evil C- evil corporate CEOs. Of course, I mean, remember like Captain Planet? Yeah, early like early nineties. We like people wonder in certain regards like why the millennial generation um, buy napkins? is like so uh, anti-corporate in many regards. And you look at at the media that we consumed early on, it was it it was pretty anti corporate. Yeah. Which which was really you know, it we had a lot of stuff Captain where Planet. there was focus on we representation. Of Superman protecting the environment was big. Lex Luthor was the big bad guy. Lex Luthor was consistently evil uh, CEO. Um and you know, as as the years have gone on, that's been scaled back a lot in media, I'd say. Yes, it has. But at um, the time... At the time, it was like I mean, every time. Captain Planet, we had CEOs whose sole goal was to pollute the That earth. was all they did. They didn't have a product they were trying to sell. Yeah. They didn't have stockholders. They just wanted to pollute the world. Oh, what about, and, like, Ivan Ooze? Yeah, well, I, Ivan Ooze was... He, 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 his, he wasn't the CEO, but he... He, didn't, he, he, he wasn't wanted, trying to... He wasn't trying to pollute her. He oh, just he wanted... Wasn't? No, he was using his ooze to control people's minds. Oh, okay. Um, I'm never quite clear on that. But but yes, oh, Orange, Orange Ranger video is great. He's, he's been reviewing. Like um, he's been reviewing uh, all the uh, tattoo teenage uh, alien fighters from Beverly Hills episodes. He's been doing that for the last year or so. Um, Ultraman. But I find it really interesting that. Yes. Um, that was, that's the newest Ultraman series apparently just came out. Uh, I find it really interesting, though, that that sort of anti-corporate element was already existing in the original source material, Metalder, in the 80s, which is like, here in America, that was peak corporate greed being glorified all over the place. Well, I think the goal with Metalder may have been less corporate, and more, because remember, they, they were, things didn't go great for Japan in World War II. True. So the fact that he wanted to start a war and become an arms dealer may have been the bigger focus. Well, he was, well, he also explicitly brought up manipulating the stock market by messing with oil prices and made it very clear that profit was his goal. Um... So that was that More was very interesting. I'm saying may yeah. have been the the point there, True. rather than anti corporatism, anti war profiteering. True, but not even in that regard, though, I feel like it have wouldn't a nice have been time necessary. For the birthday party. Oh, enjoy your birthday party. It's not his birthday party. Well, enjoy the birthday party you are attending. At least I assume it's not. He says he has a birthday to celebrate. Um, not that it's his birthday. But I. Yes, Mattel is very much focused anti war. Yeah. The, fair enough, but. He, it was very anti-military-industrial complex, yeah. which which tied in, and the fact that they did draw specific attention to the stock market was surprising. That was a lot of addressing real-world threats to, to to human safety in a way that you wouldn't necessarily remember, expect the from time, a kids show. Japan didn't have a military. Because that is true. It made them get rid of one. That is true. So, part of the, I mean, this is where the whole kawaii aesthetic comes in. Yeah. But there is a whole thing in the media and the thing over there about, you know, peace and cuteness and harmlessness and stuff that is actually kind of our fault. Right. Because we were really, really harsh. We were. Um, um, we did not... We did not go easy on them in many regards. Especially um, when you look at how, like, Germany got off. <laughs> yeah. Um, Italy. By comparison, yes. Although, well, Germany was... Split in half for a while. Split in half and occupied for a good, like, 40 years. Yes, so that's they did still have a military. Fair, fair. Um, but yeah, there were, there were a lot of interesting little... Um, yes, the SDF is what they Sociopolitical had. undertones they, they, to they, that. Only, they were allowed to have a defensive force, just not a proper military. It was this whole thing. Yeah, Metalder does need a figure. Are they That's a to great looking suit. I mean, probably, yeah, at some point that I don't must know. have expired at some point. I don't think it ever did. Not to my recollection. 
if it did, then it was within our, then it was within like the last twenty years. I should pay more attention to that. Because because let's let's not forget, like even. Um, I mean, because if you look at Neon Genesis Evangelion, it's yeah, still the SDF. Exactly, um, and I don't th- I don't think that's changed. Um, that is true. No no spoilers in the chat. Yeah. We haven't seen. That's something. That is something that we wanted to talk about. Though I, I knew I was yes. forgetting something at the beginning of things. We haven't decided how we want to handle the the early release of the Beast Morphers episodes. Because it looks like Europe is getting them already. Um, specifically, the UK has gotten them. Usually, they go to um, non-American co- uh, or non-English speaking countries. Sorry, that was very American centric to me. Um, yeah, like France or something. Yeah, usually it ends up being leaked in non-English speaking co- countries first, and that's and so A okay, some less stuff gets translated. Here it's it's straight up. The UK got everything in the last couple weeks. Yeah. So the the finale of Beast Morphers has come out, and there are spoilers. It's like a spoiler landmine right now. I cannot scroll through YouTube without getting recommendations with for videos that have spoiler thumbnails. So we were thinking about um, maybe we're potentially th- possibly getting into that a little early. Yeah. Maybe. Possibly late. Possibly during the next, at some point in the next month, maybe. Uh, but what we want to know from you guys is whether you're on board with that. Do, yeah, um, if we got into it earlier, would people be interested? So, so voice your opinions on that uh, in the comments below, uh, so that we can see them YouTube's after the fact. It's not nice to you if you put out your video now and then people don't watch it for three months. Yeah. Um, so I want to know if you guys are interested in seeing those live reactions earlier. Now, two weeks from now... Now, we're not looking at doing a live reactions next week. It's, it's going to be 4th of July, July weekend. You know, happy all are we be figure you guys will be busy with your own plans. fireworks, having Zoom parties, doing stuff. Um, so we'll do another feature-length non-Sentai Toku. In two weeks. In two weeks. So we did our shorter, uh, our shorter installment of Toku this week. We'll do a feature-length... <laughs> In two weeks for next time. But, because feature lengths are kind of long, and the last time we did a long one, we were up kind of late. Yeah, we'll be doing it at 6.30, 6.30. for next time. That's a half uh, so an that'll hour be, early. That'll be two weeks from now, so that'll be, um, that will be July 11th. Uh, we will do, um, we will be something doing longer. something longer, starting at 6.30 instead of 7. So that way we have a little bit more time to watch it. Um, we don't know what yet. We will we'll put out some movies. Work on Sunday. I know that there have been at least four um, non Sentai movies that have been suggested. I've already seen two of them, but there's at least one in there I know I haven't seen. Sheree's gonna watch no matter what. Spencer Harris is already up to date, so we've definitely got some people who are. So if you guys want to see our reactions to uh, Beast Morphers earlier, we then... might get into that after next week, next time. Yeah. Like, maybe, and, and don't, this is not a promise by any means. Yes, maybe. If we possibly. were to get into that, which would, it would probably, we would probably be looking at getting back into weekly, as yes. opposed to bi-weekly. And, uh, that would probably, the first one would probably be, um, not, not July 11th, but the following, the following week, week. Which would be July 18th, so that would be the day right before my birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Um, so that might be something for my birthday weekend, we'll see. Uh, so we're gonna have to. De- so we'll have to make that decision. Definitely weigh in in the comments below. Please let us know. Uh, regardless of if you're watching this yeah, live or watching it later. People who are saying please don't. Um, yeah, if you want us to wait until it comes out in the United States, so that you can have that same premiere experience. We need to know about that of us, too. Let us know. I want to get a feel for a where feel for where our know. audience is at. Exactly. Um. Because I've been hearing. A lot of hype. Um, and that's not something that I'm used to hearing for the second half of a super series. This is true. Um, I'm, um, I am so spoiler-free because I, I just don't you know, follow anything. The, the second half of, of Super Ninja Steel, we had Dimensions in Danger, but otherwise it was largely unspectacular. We had the second half of Super Dino Charge, and people were really, um upset regarding the finale. Watch, um, the day you decide to start will be the day they announce the hiatus ending. Uh, we'll see. 
Some people are saying one good thing about doing it this way is you could do two parters back to back. Potentially, if there are two parters, I don't know the episode names. Well, I mean, they might know that there are um, two parters. They might be saying. To, that to that my knowledge, nothing is is explicitly described as part one and part two. Mm -hmm. So I would probably still want to do them as separate episodes. Um, but it does seem like there'd be there there's it does seem like there's going to be a lot to discuss from Rusty what I've been Zichter, hearing. And Zichter is descended from the rulers of Xandar. There we go. There we go. Connecting VR troopers to Dion Charge right there. Works. Works. Um, so yeah, definitely let us know your opinions on us checking out the remainder of Beast Morphers. Especially in the comments where we'll be able to aggregate that information better. Because previously I was always linking it to the releases on Nickelodeon. Um, and at this point it does seem as though the... Um, Everybody's getting ahead of us. Every, every, everyone, everyone is getting those those earlier releases. Um, so I'm, I'm a little less wary than I have been in the past, especially since we've been looking at other international media uh, in, the meantime. in the meantime through our through observing Japanese source material. So so we're we're definitely open to it, but we don't want to leave our audience behind if you guys are if you guys really want to wait until the fall. Um, right, and that was our original plan, but then spoilers and everywhere. Beyond that you know, the fall is also just a busier time for me. This is a more op uh, uh, my schedule is about to open up pretty well. I'm almost done with my grad work. Um, fingers crossed. Knocking on wood. Fingers crossed. Um, and you know, in the fall, I will be back to teaching again. So, um, taking advantage of the summer might not be the worst. Thing. Yes, we did mention the Tim Curry thing. Yes. Well, he mentioned the Tim Curry thing, and I made yeah. a face like this. Um, still no current plans for Cure Major, but that is something that that we could also, um, we might also wait consideration on. We'll have to talk about that. I know Cure Major is now returning from its hiatus. Which, they don't usually take a hiatus, but they have yeah. a COVID hiatus. Exactly. So that's, that's something to Wear also Wear your masks, consider. wash your hands. There we go. This should also not be controversial. That is also true. Says the person who works at the hospital and doesn't want to see you there. Um, so that is that is uh, sort of the state of things and all that. So I want to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at uh, some really classic like Showa to uh, Toku from 1987, and some good old classic uh, Saban non Power Rangers material uh, by virtue of uh, checking out VR Troopers. So maybe in the future. We might still be able to do more of these, like, before and after kind of kind of features. Yeah, I liked the person who suggested doing the, um, the Lost and Found in Translation episode. That, that's a fun one. I have seen both of those, personally. I've only seen the title. I'll, I'll be honest. Not that different. <laughs> But you, but you know what? You're but wrong it would with Superhuman Sentai Squad. It's not the only Sentai period series not made by Saban. Does Mini Force ring a bell? Mini Force is is not. I wouldn't consider that. I'm referring to to uh, to adaptations of live action Toku. Mini Force is an animated series. I'm I'm not including it in that. Okay, so that's that's a purely American invention then. Mini oh, Force. Mini Force. Um, is it American? It doesn't. It, I, I can't remember now if it's American or dubbed. Oh, okay. Um, it Wait, is if wacky. It's, if it's just dubbed, then it's still not an adaptation. It's just a dub. Yeah. No, I'm referring to specifically the process I mean, of because... adapting a, a live-action toku series with American footage into an American I mean, because if just redubbing one counts, then Sailor Moon technically would count. Yeah. Um, it's a henshin show. I mean, or... Robotech predates all of this by virtue of, of mashing up a bunch of different anime series. And Mini series. Force is 2014. Yeah. No, I'm, I, I, I think Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad was the only one that did that same at a... No, correction, correction. Taking it back, Kamen Rider Dragon Knight 2009. But that, but that was the only one from the 90s. Uh, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad was the only one from the 90s. And then we had Dragon Knight in 2009 from Adnus. Um... It, it's it's a shame that that nobody else has quite 
been able to latch on to that for more than the season. But it is tricky to do, especially considering that most series, um, most series don't really um, last for long enough to really adapt into multiple seasons. Night, Dustin. Have a great night, Dustin. Um, Mystic Knights of Tiernanog was Saban, and it was also purely American footage. Well, Irish. <laughs> um, but, yeah, and then VR Troopers was one, VR Troopers and Beetleborgs were the only two that managed to last for more than a season. They each had two seasons, and it was because they each adapted multiple series. Beetleborgs uh, adapted um, both B-Fighter and B-Fighter Kabuto, and then we were talking before about how VR Troopers was Metalder with Spielvon, but also during the second season, Metalder got replaced by uh, Space Sheriff uh, Shider, I believe it was. I keep getting Shider and Sheriff, I'm confused. I could be mistaken. I'm Database Ranger, not Database Space Sheriff. Not My database. Metal Hero knowledge database is definitely Ranger, fuzzier. Not Database All of Toku. Yeah. My Space Sheriff knowledge is a little fuzzier. I need to refresh myself. Um, so we should, we should be wrapping up. Um, but thank you again for joining us for all this. Yes. Um, it's fun having you guys here. I look forward to doing a, a, a big movie for next time. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, we'll do I, a full length. I'm going gonna, I, I, gonna to have to look at some of the options that we've, that we've been presented with, because one of them might be a little bit more um, on the adult end, and I'm not sure. Okay. Um, and then we'll, uh, I'll determine whether that would be appropriate. But any ideas for, for full-length toku, full toku movies that are not Sentai... Theatrical stuff. Let me know. Um, let us know in the comments below. Feel free to, to tweet at me as well. Um, I'll try and make mention of that. Not going to be a second episode of Grid Defense. I would love to, but honestly, all my actors have moved on to other things. There's a full series out that has now adapted Tokume Sentai Go Busters that is apparently finished in some countries. It's not um, happening. It's not happening. It, it's it's, it's not, not a happening. realistic expectation, unfortunately. Um, I have a full-time job uh, that... Bye, Spencer! ...is the whole Bye. school year. Um, and I have other, I do have other ideas for other fan films I would like Apparently to do, Apparently Steele's voice actor was Alba Red in Lost and Found in Translation. No. According really? to Shara. I, I, need, I would need to double check that. Because I, because I forget, I, who, I'm blanking on the voice actors now. I'm not as good with, with, I'm not as good with keeping track of things as I used to be. It's it's sad. It's sad. I'm I feel like I'm in the twilight of my is of my ranger. Um. Uh, Charé. I believe. Now 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 I'm faking myself out. Yeah, I thought I knew, and then like the fourth time I said it, I was like, wait. Yeah, it's one of those things that it's easy to do. Um, but yeah, if like I had um a lot of fun plans for good defense, and I'm curious to see, um how much of it Beast Morphers may have also ended up going with, considering that we seem to be working along parallel lines of thought. Um, and that is definitely something I'll consider, doing this, uh, a video discussing the parallels. The parallels. Once it's all done. Um, so, so likely not until after Christmas. Yeah. Because I'm sure there's still a Christmas episode. Um, although, actually, I'm not sure, because I don't know really how they handled anything this year yet. Um, that all said. Yeah, uh, I think, I think, and, and she was just saying, you know. And compared compare. to Ghostbusters. I think that'd be a good comparison. There's, there's a lot of analysis that can go into Pork Grit Defense, or that can go into, um, Beast Morphers that I couldn't fast. really have. Okay. <laughs> that I couldn't really have, have done with other series because I hadn't seen this really first. Into this. So, okay, yeah, I have actually been hearing, like, I, I started saying that, I'm like, oh, wait, there might not be a Christmas episode, because they were doing the, like, Olympic ep episode special earlier with Boxed In, and so I don't know how they're handling all of it. So, we'll see. We'll see when I, when I might do an analysis of, of Beast Morphers, and in what way. Um, but that being said, I know I've already said that, like, five times. Let's wrap things up with those three more non-controversial oh, statements. Three more. Because I did say at the beginning that I had three more non-controversial okay. statements. Okay, what are they? There, or statements I believe should be non-controversial. Okay. Uh, which is, love is love. 
with love. Uh, trans rights are human rights. Trans rights are human rights. That th these are just facts, and robots are cool. Robots are cool. All equally non-controversial statements. Name is Mac. So let's let's commit to those. To all. So at the beginning of each episode, we'll have our first three non-controversial statements. At the end of each episode, we'll have our the second three non-controversial non statements. statements. And we will continue to normalize that because those should not be controversial statements. They are simple facts. They are facts. So, all that said, uh, Sh Sheree, I will say, depends on the robot. And their programming. That's true. Some of them definitely have a gender. <laughs> well, they were saying non-binary or binary when it comes to robots. and it, well, well, it depends on the programming language to an extent. <laughs> Oh, haha, ha, that binary. But some of them actually do have a binary gender. That is true. That is true. And some of them don't. To my knowledge, uh, a lot of the Transformers comics have actually explored that in quite an interesting level of detail. To, to my understanding. I have not read them myself. Um, so I think that's, that's all a good note to end on. So let's, uh, let's keep positive things moving. Yes. Let's, let's keep fighting the forces of Grimlord as he tries to do all sorts of evil, uh, mongering, fascist, de demon, mutant, demon robot mutant capitalism with nuclear bombs and all that. You know, do good, live good lives, and be until next to one another, be excellent to each other. And until, until next time, time farewell, Ranger, Ranger fans, fans, and let the power, power protect, protect you. you. I just Super VR anti-capitalist robot Metalder.